Joining us on The Blend this morning, we have Dr. Judith Lin with us, who is the Professor and Chief of Vascular Surgery for the MSU Healthcare. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. I'm curious, what do vascular surgeons do? Well, good morning, everybody. It's so good to hear um, from you. And um, well, vascular surgeons are specialists who are highly trained to treat diseases of the vascular system. You know, the blood vessels comprise of arteries that carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body, and there are the veins that carries blood back to the heart. Vascular conditions such as atherosclerosis or hardening of the artery can obstruct the blood flow to any part of the body. So um, as a vascular surgeon, I make sure that my patients understand all their options because I can perform open vascular surgery, minimally invasive catheter interventions, and treat patients with medication or exercises. What is vascular disease then? Great question. You know, most patients and Americans are familiar with heart disease and with stroke and their consequences of the blockage in the vessels that carries to and from the heart. Now, some of the most recognized vascular diseases, including abdominal aortic aneurysm that can enlarge and can rupture, or there could be carotid artery disease in the neck that can lead to transient ischemic attack or stroke. Also, peripheral arterial disease that may cause open sores um, and limb loss. Blood clots, such as deep vein thrombosis, can cause leg pain and swelling. Um, there's also very commonly um, known varicose veins and venous ulcers, mm -hmm. as well as patients needing dialysis access. So how do I know if, if I should see a vascular surgeon? Another fantastic question. Typically, most people don't know what vascular surgeons do. Uh, patients are referred to a vascular surgeon by their primary care physician, who I always say they're the captain of your health care and also along with the patient. Um, sometimes patients also become acquainted with a vascular surgeon after an unexpected event that may land them in the hospital. So if you have risk factors uh, such as advanced age, smoking, diabetes, say high cholesterol and or high blood pressure, you are at risk for vascular disease. So you might be referred to a vascular surgeon if you see your regular doctors for pain in your legs and may learn that you have peripheral arterial disease or varicose veins. Good information, doctor. Of course, we're gonna put your information at the bottom of the screen if people would like to get in touch with you. Thank you so much for joining us on The Blend. Thank you very much for having me.